In this video, I'm going to teach you how to quickly and easily paint a skeleton, just in time for the spooky season. Sci-Fi Wargamers Greetings hobby fans, I am the Ghost of Marcel and it's my mission to help you <laughs> explore the hobby. So in this video, as it's the spooky season, I felt it would be a good idea to show you how to paint a suitably spooky miniature, in this case a skeleton. So let's dive right in. First things first, as usual we're going to prime the miniature, in this case I have primed my skeleton with black spray paint, in this case Chaos Black by Games Workshop. The next thing we're going to do is use Vallejo model khaki and give the model a heavy, heavy dry brush all over. Don't worry if you get a bit of black left in the recesses, that will add to the shading later on. The next stage is a wash. We're going to use Seraphim Sepia by Games Workshop and we're going to literally just flood the whole model with this. Make sure you get it in all the nooks and crannies and recesses. When that's done it should look a bit like this. With the bone done we're now onto the metal parts and we're going to use Warplock Bronze by Games Workshop and I'm going to paint all over the shield and the sword and don't forget the little dagger he's got tied to his waist. Next up we're going to use Citadel Corn Red to paint the little belt thing which he has tying his dagger on. Try to be as neat as you can here. We're now going to shade the belt with Citadel Nuln Oil. I'm going to give this a good covering all over. Make sure it goes in all the recesses and edges. Should look a little like this. Now we're going to add some verdigris to those bronze parts and we're going to use a heavily diluted blue-green by Vallejo Model Colour. It's probably around 10 parts water to 1 part paint. And just flood the areas of bronze metal. When that's dry, it should look a little like this. Now we're going to highlight that belt with some Citadel Mephiston Red. And just concentrate on the highest parts. Just take your time and try to be neat. It should look a bit like this. And there you have it, your completed skeleton. All I've done is gone in and painted the base and added a small grass tuft. You can see some more basing videos in the link at the top right corner now. If you'd like to support the channel then please consider joining the Patreon page, the link to which is in the description below. Oh, you saw my hand. If you want to see more painting tutorials you can click the link up here somewhere. Please don't forget to like subscribe. That means you Jack. As always, thank you very much for watching and always remember to drill your barrels. I look like a ray.